You have inserted tables before by going into the Insert menu and going to the Table icon and selecting the number of columns and rows that you want. This time, however, we're going to draw a table. So click the down arrow and click Draw Table. You want it to start at about the word if and drag it down and just kind of visually see what this is going to look like. About like that. Whoops, we need to change our outside edge back to a small one from what we had. We'll have to change that later. I've got it smaller now, so I'm going to do the columns. We'll go back and change that other in a minute. And this one is kind of like this. Now I'm going to make one row. It looks like it's not quite in the center. Going across. Up here we're going to divide this one. And then down below divide this one. So we end up with some merged ones over here on the side. I'm going to get our eraser up here and erase that one. We don't want that one together. I think that will do it for what we're drawing. But we need to take care of this outside edge. So I'm actually going to kind of click on the outside, select this so that I can get this outside border so that it's back to the small. There we go. Whoops, now I got rid of the inside lines. Let's go back and put all borders in. We are going to put in some information in here. If you want to look in the book, it's on page 284. For auction on May 22nd. Oops. And now we want to change this one on the side, select it, and we're going to make the text turn on its side. So if you go back into the layout, it says text direction. I believe that's the way we want it. I think this would look better if it was on two lines, and they would look better if they were centered. If we want to change the column width, because this is a little wide, when you put your cursor right on top of the line, you get a double-headed arrow, and then you can literally drag it back. We probably have quite a bit of space in there between our words. And we want to add some shading. Oh, we need to add a row here.
So we're going to put a row above, but this one we want all together. So while it's selected, we want to merge those cells. And that one is going to be called Volunteers Needed. Whoops, we don't want it to go sideways. Let's put it back to the normal. And that one needs to be in the middle. We want to shade that one. So back to design. Shading, we want it in a fairly dark gray. And along the side, we want that one gray. Looks like this one, we've lost some of our text, so we'll have to work on adjusting that table.